Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It's a beautiful day here today in Pennsylvania. The temperature is rising and the snow is beginning to melt. But anyway, today we're going to make a little progress inside the building. I've got a guy coming out. He owns his own business and he is going to rough in all the wiring for the TVs and the sound system. So here we have Chris. Tell us a little bit about your business, Chris, and what you're going to do today. Oh, hey, Mike. My uh, company is Control Freaks. We are uh, an audio video sales and installation company. So we sell and install pretty much anything that has to do with uh, the AV world. Okay. TVs, sound systems, home theater systems, uh, dedicated music systems, right. anything along that, that, that lines. How long have you been doing this? Ah, uh, 30, coming up my 31st year. Really? Yeah. So I actually started this company about 14 years ago, and then uh, I had worked for a company down in Southwest Florida for about 17 before I did this, before I started this company. So this isn't going to be real elaborate or anything, but what you're going to do is put two speakers, one over there, one over there, one over here, one over here, and then we're going to have a TV back in there, right? Correct. And then another real big TV on over that on that wall. Correct. So what you're going to do is just run rough all those wires in today and bring them over and the amps will be in this closet? Correct. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. You shouldn't be here. It shouldn't take you too long to do this. Probably about an hour, an hour and a half. Okay. Not a big deal. Good deal. And then once we get all the finish work done in here, we'll come back, hang the TVs and all that stuff and Correct. be good to go. Sounds like a plan. You have a website, Chris? I do. It's actually www.control-freaks.com, and freaks is spelled with two E's. I will put that link in the description. And uh, how big of an area do you work? We go uh, as far south as, say, Bethel Park, okay. um, up to Newcastle, um, in the surrounding area. Okay. Generally, if it's under 50 minutes, 50-minute yeah. drive, right. we'll do it. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. It didn't take Chris and Mike very long at all to get this wiring roughed in. I think I mentioned earlier, this is a closet right here. The amp will be in here. Uh, we're going to have a television on this wall right here in the back of the kitchen. That will be a 55 inch, I think. And then over on that wall there will be a 75 inch TV, a pretty good size one. We'll have speakers up there, over there, over here and over there and you'll be able to listen to the tv through the speakers if you'd like also another little update here this is the wood stove that we have coming it's going to go right over in here that's probably about two or three weeks out i know the stove is on order it shouldn't take too long to get but i know they will have to wait for all the snow to melt off the roof of the building also talked to uh plumber jim this morning that was at 5 a.m. this morning. He is a early riser as well, but he's planning on coming up on Saturday morning. So we'll get Plumber Jim back on video, which should be great. So Melissa just came out, show you something else here. Howdy barkeep. Howdy barkeep. We have been looking at uh, colors for 
you know, color choices for the ceiling, the wainscoting, and the uh, roof up above here. And we're not exactly sure what we're going to get yet, but uh, I talked to this company this morning, Hilltop Roofing and Siding. I'm going to pick up some samples uh, tomorrow and we'll come out here and kind of screw things to the wall and get a better idea. You can't really tell what something's going to look like. I mean, you get a general idea, but by a half inch by one yeah, inch right. little square there, you really can't tell. But that's the plan. It'll be like a liner panel on the ceiling, wainscoting all around the bottom here in the game room, and uh, eight inch tongue and groove pine on the walls. And Melissa's going to show you a shirt, but she brought the wrong shirt out, but she got the correct shirt now. Want to show them? It's a home run. <laughs> the Archie Fan Club is back. We stick together. And it says Outdoors with the Morgans. I, that's a nice one. I really, really like it. So we had an Archie Fan Club shirt that said We Stick Together with a Stick. And I originally, the original one had paw prints and the prep, like it just wasn't. It wasn't working out as good. It wasn't working like I had planned. So I cut the paw prints off cut one of the sticks off so it was still just a stick and the place so the the pressure it just wasn't working so i had to stop that one it was taking me way too much time and cried way too many tears <laughs> so then got this one i like that one yeah i do too so it'll be on the website you can get it in the gray or the sand or white i will put a link in the description that'd be great thank you but right now melissa and i have a score to settle if you remember the other day I did a video and I was screwing around down below in the Jeep down there in the wood yard, right? And I was trying to climb this bank and we have a lot of snow down there and I couldn't quite get over the top with the Jeep. And I went on about my day, just kind of forgot about it. And I published that video and there were a ton of comments from people saying I should have taken the Bronco down too and tried it as well. Melissa watched the video. That's the first thing she said was, why don't you take the Bronco down? She says the Bronco will climb right up there. So I don't know, but we're going to take the Bronco down right now and the Jeep and we're going to try it again. But I think conditions are a lot worse today yeah, like than they were the other day because it's like 38 degrees today. The snow's starting to melt. It's a lot more slick, but uh, yeah, we'll try it. But the Bronco, I'm looking at it right now. It's spotless, nice and clean, but at least we're not taking it out on the salty roads. So we'll just go down below. Which one do you want to drive, Melissa? I'll drive either, but it is still going to drive Mike nuts either way. No, it won't. That it gets. That's enough for the first 40 people. So, the first 40 star listeners who dialed this number, 833. All right, so, Melissa decided to go in four low and she locked both the front and rear differential. You're gonna get two attempts at this, and then uh, I'll try it in the Bronco as well. Okay. What do you think? If you get to the top there, make sure you stay on it, and you're gonna have to loop up around to the right to get back on the road. The faithful subscribers know I have a fear of this. <laughs> she doesn't like spinning tires. I don't. <laughs> You'll be fine. Face your fears. Gotta face your fears. This is fully insured, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just stay straight. You don't want to get sideways on that hill. Okay. I'm just staying straight right like this. That's yep. the plan. And I got a camera up here. Don't run it over either. Okay. A lot to think about, Melissa. I know. You ready to do this? Okay. All right. All right, let me try it in the Jeep, and I'm going to try it in four high so you can get a better run at it. Did I, what do you think of at the end? I was afraid of it going this way. Yeah, it was starting to go that way a little bit. It was. I watched a lot of Dukes of Hazzard. All right, so Melissa was in four low uh, with the, both front and rear differentials locked. She couldn't make it up. Like I said, the snow is very slick. And it is really steep. I know things on camera don't appear as steep as they really are, but it's pretty, pretty steep. But she definitely needs to get a run at it. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back to four high. 
Okay. And uh, we'll see if we can't get up it. All right. Good luck, Mike. I made it I didn't think it would there once I got to the top it kind of kept pawing but I'll yeah. tell you what this is gonna be good now if the Bronco doesn't make it right I don't think the Bronco will have any troubles you don't I don't you know what this is I don't know in my mindset this is just higher and it's not made for the snow or I think this has got more of a heavier bottom like do you know what I mean like I think it'll a, dig a little bit better dig and drive all right well let's try it but um you could title this video, a redneck comes out. Because this is like, <laughs> woo! <"Wee!" laughs> you got yeah. up there. And, yeah. All right, let's try the uh, Bronco. Okay. All right, so the Bronco, we're going to switch modes here. We're going to go to, uh, that's normal, eco, definitely not eco, sport now, slippery, four wheel drive shift in progress. We're ready to go. So we're in four high. In the Bronco, and as you can see, it's 38 degrees right now. Uh, so that snow is very, very slippery, much more so than it was the other day. Exactly. Yeah. But like I said, the Jeep made it up, so here we go. So I have to say, you know, this was a, a, a relatively fair test, but you got to look at the tires as well. The Bronco definitely went up it a lot easier than the Jeep, it did. but they were both in high range. Uh, this is a 2021 Rubicon. Now this one, we, you know, we've got a three and a half inch JKS lift on it, 35 inch Mickey Thompson tires. But if you look at the tread on these, versus the tread on the Bronco. Boy, is this stuff slippery, isn't it? You can hardly stand up down here. These aren't as aggressive, but I think for this snow, these tires are better. You know, this is a 2021 Bronco Wild Track. It came with the Sasquatch package and it comes with 35 inch tires, but there's no doubt about it, the Bronco made it up there a lot easier Heck yeah. than the Jeep did. This wheelbase is a little wider. I think it's about the same. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, that was kind of fun, wasn't it, Melissa? Um, yeah, it's kind of fun. You're not it big into... It just makes me nervous. Does it? <laughs> I'm doing better. Yeah. I mean, when you get to the top, I'm like, whoa, you know. You remember but when we went to uh, Moab and yeah. we rented that yeah. Razor? Yeah. That, that was kind of scary. Yeah. At that first. Was. Because we didn't realize how well... Wow the tires would stick to that rock out there uh we rented a side by side out there it was a razor and the guy's like do you have any experience i'm like yeah just give me the keys it'll be fine and we did that hell's revenge trail i think it was 35 miles or something and i'm telling you what for the first half hour or so i thought it was the worst decision we ever made i thought i was going to go back but once you realized how well the tires stuck to that rock it was an awful lot of fun Sometime this summer, we're probably going to take the Bronco and go out west, maybe to uh, Colorado and do some trails out there. But this is very, very slick conditions here right now. I mean, we can barely stand up on this snow. When it starts melting like this, yeah. it is completely different than when it's, you know, five or 10 degrees out and everything's just crisp and it's almost sticky when it's that cold. This yeah. is not like that at all. But so far, I'm impressed. Uh, both of them did pretty well, but hands down, Bronco, Bronco went up a lot easier kind of troubles, right. than the Jeep. It really did. So don't want to make the Jeep guys mad, yeah, and we Jeep and we can't. Has, you know what? The Jeep has more bounce to it, and that it is does. Not, um, what we needed in the snow with that incline. Right. The Bronco definitely hooked up, though. It did. 
that's pretty cool but uh i think that's about it we got the uh rough end done for the wiring for the tv we didn't but chris and his guy did got it done in the building mentioned earlier plumber jim will be up this weekend we've got a lot of things going to be happening soon but uh i was glad you guys mentioned that in the comments i didn't even really think about doing both bronco jeep but uh maybe we'll do a whole series on these two you know what i mean this was test number one yep. so far advantage bronco which one can haul the most groceries the most groceries you could do that go to costco and see which one hauls the most groceries but i think that's about it uh, we really appreciate y'all being here and like always say if you enjoy these videos please hit the like button click subscribe and share them with your friends thanks check out, and check out morgan's off the leash if you get a few minutes that's my channel and don't forget the archie shirt and don't forget to go to outdoorswithmorgans.com and order if you'd like one of the shirts we have on there link will be in the description link will be in the description thanks